boy oh boy jd niger word of truth um i just got back from the jacuzzi and um the moon is one of the brothers left me a message out i'm not sure what your name was but um obviously you have like every i dotted every t crossed you um You've watched everything they've given us and you've put them up against the scriptures. And um, uh, I didn't read your whole message, but um, I got the feel of it. I got the damn dude. You're one of you're one of us, brother. I, you know who you are. I mean, how many people are there out there listening? We don't we don't have a whole big team. We're a um, we're a master race. We're a um, we're a risen Zion. We're I don't know. I don't know how to say it. We we look at the, we look at things. And we see him, you know, so, um, good work, brother. Glad you can, glad to see you're here. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to make a big deal of it. And I'm not going to just throw your name around like some people that are on this channel. We saw, we saw what you said. We know who you are. We don't have to, we don't have to name you. Um, came to me for a minute. I had it. I had your. I had it in my mind, but I'm not gonna just throw you your handle out there. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I pet goat. Um, the the truth of revelation. All these things, I. You know, we get we get these waves. We get these waves of knowledge. We get these waves, and um, at this point, I'm like, I'm just trying to come out every day and say, "Hey, people, our time is coming." You know, and it's it's great that um that energy's coming from behind. And from the side, the left, the right, beautiful stuff. So, uh, all praises to our Father, Yahweh, the existent I am, the, um, <sighs> the Adonai, the Master. He's, he's, he's going to make it all come true. You know, the story's been told and we're just waiting to blossom in his field. And uh, his only begotten son is the one that's gonna like. <laughs> he's the he's the husband man. He's the one that's been throwing all those seeds and his um, people over the regenerations have been watering it. So we're gonna see like a a big blossom. It's gonna be like amazing. Everything else is gonna get choked out all those weeds all those tears yeah i can already see it there's there's nothing left of them they're like it's like they've been sprayed with roundup you know their roots are dying there's no root there there's no there's no foundation so i can see it and um thank you brothers thank you jay hall thank you for the ones who have like um, stayed in the threshing machine with me or have followed even you too, Mr. Um, <laughs> what's your name? You're um, the power, Gabriel Power. Um, you'll be an interesting... They're an interesting um, 
Very interesting spoon stirring up the pot. We, we, we don't know who you are. You have a lot of lightning bolts and you have a lot of um, kinetic energy, but um, you're part of it too, dude. I, I, if you're working against us, <laughs> think again. You're, you're working for us. Um, Tahar and these guys, they're funny. They're a joke. They're, they're, they're interesting. It's interesting how they how they stirred everything up and then they're they're withering away like a like a bad flower. It's like, oh the summer's over. Summer's over for you guys, dude. Are you gonna are you gonna like um change your ways and be perennial or are you gonna be you know, I was what <laughs> what this video is about is I was I was in the hot tub and I was thinking, what, what does, what, what do those guys mean to me? What does Tahar, what does Kabar, what does a Romlov, you know, if, if, if anyone out of all those suckers, um, I see that gray haired old man with the beard, I see him as, someone to me i don't know who he is i i mean tahar yeah he's gonna be like bringing us food or something and the bar he's gonna be like <laughs> scrubbing the floor but a ramla that guy that guy's gonna be either dancing for us or um uh, making us laugh or something it's like who is a ramla and i was thinking about it i'm thinking what are we gonna do with that Aramla? We we know what we know what Ricard's gonna be doing. He's gonna be like yelling at people. <laughs> He's gonna be yelling at at his own people. Get the hell out of here, you you people like me, you you dummies. We know what he's gonna do. He's like he's already set himself in his own. He's obvious, but Aramla, it's like who's Aramla gonna be for us brothers? Um, he's gonna make he's gonna make people love the Lord. He's gonna be like he's gonna be like a a four dimensional. He's gonna have four dimensions of the crown. He's gonna be like we're gonna split him into four pieces, and he's gonna he's gonna tell everyone love the Lord, worship the Lord, praise the Lord. He's gonna be like. He's going to be like Asaph. He's going to be like, okay, this is how we're going to sing it. He's going to be like, he's going to be like the choir master or something, or Ramlob. Because <laughs> he's, he's just been so perfectly stupid and so perfectly smart. It's like, what the hell? What the hell are we going to do with you, Ramlob? <laughs> you deserve, you deserve a, a high place in the court of the jesters, the court of the the silly guys, but um, he's not that silly, so he's got to be serious. It's got to be serious because he's been so serious. He's been so, he's been such a a bar too. But uh, he's just been too arrogant. We're gonna have to make him like do something stupid, like clean the floors or something because he's such a prick and, and Tahar too Tahar's going to have to be like <sighs> he's going to have to do something retarded serve 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 pork to people I don't know <laughs> but Ram love <laughs> we're going to we're going to have a special job for that fucker and uh, same thing with Ricard that fucking loudmouth, bubble-eyed fucking bonehead. He's going to be like washing people's feet while they come into the temple. <laughs> and then we don't even know what that, that other jackass is going to do. Uh, the guy from South Carolina, I don't know. He's just a, he's just a bald-headed jackass. But anyway, um, 
was laying here looking at the um, at the moon tonight. I'm like, the brother was saying how the moon and how how the time is like speeding up. I don't know who you are, brother. I'm sorry. I for, I was like, I was so busy trying to like understand what you were saying and um, put it into context. I was like, whoa, this guy, this dude's been like. He's been on the road, brother. He's been on the road. You are the road, brother. <laughs> um, and if, you know, I, I, I understand everything you're saying. I do. I do. I understand what you're saying. And um, you're at that place now that you have the past, the future, and the present all, like, in your hand. And it's, like, really cool. That's, like, that's a general that we need. That's, that's the general we are. <laughs> that's the general we are without um it, it takes a lot of stress off me brother thank you you know who you are you're taking the stress off me because you know I looked at all that shit for a long time and that's not really what I'm designed to do but the fact that I looked at it it's all falling into your hand and you're holding it and you're like fuck man I got this lightning bolt I'm gonna fucking Pa boom, you're gonna pa boom people with that shit. Between you and I and Jay Hall, Jay Hall's got the he's got the sweetness. Nothing, nothing, no lightning bolt's gonna be sent out that's not gonna be um, perfectly aimed. And what do they call it? It's a, um, what do these Edomites call it? It's, it's fucking laser guided, you know. They, they don't even know laser guided. <laughs> they will know laser guided. But anyway, um, that's basically what I wanted to say is um, you gentlemen that are that are coming under the house of David, the true house of David, we know, we know that there's good people that are going to come with us and there's bad people. The house of David means, um, I, I had it, I was in the jacuzzi, I was like, you know what it is, is, um, you know, Solomon had all those wives. The reason Solomon had all those wives, those, those, um, wives of the other nations, the reason Solomon had all those wives is because that's, they, see, these, these fools, these fools don't get it. Solomon had all those wives because he was like, he was bringing all the people back under the umbrella or the you know the um the wings we say umbrella you know we we think it's a um covering of some kind but the covering is the wings of the um the most high that i would gather you like like little chickens if i could and um, that's what that's what Solomon did. He's like, you know what? I love you, Moabite. I love you, Ammonite. I love, I love you. I, I mean, I'm excited by your um. Uh, I want to misquote it. I want to miss say it. Your innocence. I love you for your innocence. I. Your innocence excites me. Your innocence enlivens me. Your um, naivety na um, causes a fire in my soul. And so that fire, see, what these fucking dumb motherfucking GMS law keeping leprous pieces of shit don't understand is that they don't have that feeling they don't have that heart they don't have that they don't have that deep understanding and they're they're cut off from their own they're cut off from their own self their self is is searching but there's been a knife that cuts them off from their own self there's a there's a they don't understand both sides of the the sword the sword says, 
I cut this way, I cut that way. I'm a left hand servant, I'm a right hand servant. <sighs> and any of you who have been following me, you understand what I'm trying to say is what Cain, Abel, Esau, um, Jacob. Yeah, there's righteousness. But we wouldn't know righteousness if we didn't know wickedness. And that's that's the part that Solomon said. He goes, I want I want to bring these wicked people into righteousness. I'm gonna lay with these people. I'm gonna have children with these people. I'm gonna I'm gonna have seven hundred wives and three hundred concubines, seventy three, seventy three. And the Lord gave me 73 like 20 years ago. He said, what, 73? And I'm like, son of a gun. That's about the, it's about, it's about the Gentiles, man. It's about, it's about, yeah, we know him and he knows us. And it's been a rough road. But we're here and we're suffering and we've suffered over and over again. Why have we suffered? Fucking dumb motherfucking GMS Israelite pricks. Yeah, you you say the nineteen forty eight ers are fucked up. They, at least they they're like sort of getting it. They're like we're not sure that the Messiah is our God. And it's like, yeah, but at least you're at least you're wondering. You guys, yeah. <laughs> Fucking black Hebrew Israelites, you're like, <laughs> you're like, so set in your st stuponic waves. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like it's uh, I'm, uh, it's hilarious now, but it's 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 so wicked. It's like, oh, I can't wait to see you guys get drug around by your ankles. It's fucking ridiculous. You guys need to be drug through. Fucking rocks by your ankles. That's how fucking stupid you are. The Lord, the Lord has a, a plan for you, fuckers. I'm telling you, I can see it. You guys must be seeing it too, you f dumb fuckers. Because you're you're out here going, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the ones. We're the ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're the ones. You're not the one. Yeah, you're the ones that are going to be drugged to the rocks with your ankles. That's how fucking stupid you are, Tahar. a bar you guys can't just go oh wow you know what i don't like vocab alone but jd nice actually loves us jd nice actually jd nice is telling us the truth should we just should we just give bring him gifts should we just tell everyone hey let's 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 talk the truth nah Nah, they're not going to do it. Because they're wicked. They're going to stand against the truth. Word of truth is, the word of truth is cutting their ankles as they as they speak. Every, every word they say is an idle word. It's fucking so hilarious. I love you, brothers. I'm not, I'm not going to go on and on. I'm, it feels really good to be back. <sighs> Thank you. Jay Hall, I mean, you're you're here to um, reset things, and I understand that. And um, I love you, brother. You reset my idea. I'm like, really? Am I supposed to humble myself? And I was like, I sat back because I love you, brother. I'm like listening, going, damn. I don't want to. <laughs> What'd you say? You you sound like Tahar. <laughs> I was like, whoa, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I had to change my diaper. <laughs> I had to change my underwear. I was like, oh shit, he said I sound like Tahara. You know what? Tahara's voice is failing and my voice is, is getting louder. My Lord is my Lord is going, JD Niger, no one's listened to you for a lot of lot of years. They're going to listen soon. So all my brothers and sisters out there, I know there's not a lot of you. 
But you know what? The ones that are here now, when, <laughs> when things start when things start popping off, you're gonna be my voice. So keep listening because um, if you felt like you weren't listened to and no one heard you, oh yeah, they're gonna hear you. I'll make damn fucking sure of that. JD Naja, I love you, brothers. I love you, Lord. The the Lord of the Hebrew Bible, the Israelites. We we love all men. We we want all men to believe in you, because you are our Creator. You are Adonijah, our our Master. Peace and grace. Jadonijah, I'm out.